What's up guys? We are out here doing something I've been wanting to do for a while and we are going to catch something to eat. So today I'm going to be throwing around, uh, I got a little beetle spin, a little Zebco uh, push button rod with a beetle spin on it. Um, I brought some earthworms and we're going to be trying to catch some stuff to eat and that's going to be mostly panfish and I'm also going to try to catch some tilapia. So hopefully I have dinner tonight. <laughs> All right, guys, so the GoPro is having a lot of problems, so it looks like I'm going to just try to catch my uh, dinner for tonight, and I'll make little clips along the way to kind of update y'all on how we're doing. Guys, yeah, just got a little dude on the beetle spin. Figured I'd catch a few small bass, but first fish of the day, so good deal. All right, see you, dude. I just caught my first little sunfish, so I'm adding to the stringer, and hopefully I can get a few more so we can have some dinner. Alright guys, just caught a pretty decent sized bluegill, so I'm about to add him to the stringer. We got two fish to eat now. Alright guys, I think I just caught something that's actually pretty interesting. I believe this is a Rio Grande cichlid. I'm not going to eat him. He's got some like nasty like teeth marks or something on him. But, interesting. Tropical fish. Alright guys, just caught a nice bluegill. This is the best fish of the day so far. I'm adding him to the stringer and uh, hopefully he's got some big friends with him. All right, just caught another nice eaten sized panfish. Uh, I don't really know the names of any of them except for bluegill. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Comment below what it is for me, but I'm adding to the stringer. We've got four now. All right guys, so all I'm doing really is I have a uh, split shot sinker right here and then I've got just a worm on a little hook and I'm just throwing it out there and fish are hitting it pretty fast. It's a real simple rig. I've run about four pound test on my little uh, push button Zebco. So let's see if we can get some more. All right, guys, we got plenty of fish for dinner now. Um, but I am going to try and catch a tilapia on the way out of here. A lot hang out at the end of this little creek. So I'm going to head up here and see if I can get one of those for dinner. All right, so we are here in the kitchen and we're about to start getting ready to cook our fish. We're going to be frying them today. And we're going to be doing the Frank's Red Hot recipe. If you don't know about it, it's all over YouTube already. I didn't invent it or anything. Finn is helping out. You see this? This is what we're going with. <laughs> all right, buddy. All right, so over here, we've got the fish. They've just been sitting on the ice for a little while. It helps them firm up, makes them easier to fillet. And then what we've got here, we've got lemon fish fry. We got it from HEB. We've used it before, it's really good. And then we've also got spicy fish fry mix. Um, we just really like the coating of these and it makes a really nice crisp breading on the outside. So all you're going to need, so we've got a big pot, I'm using my cast iron, oil, Frank's Red Hot. Okay, we're doing buffalo today. We're, we want to try all the Frank's Red Hot. So this is the buffalo. Maybe it'll be a little extra spicy today. So first thing I like to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add, um, we got vegetable oil today vegetable oil <laughs> so you just want to add this and you want to add enough just to where it'll cover your fish so they can cook entirely in the oil and then also be able to float to the top and uh pan fish are pretty thin so you don't need a whole lot maybe an inch and a half inch and a half we'll go with that so normally what i'll do um is i'll go ahead put that on like medium high heat put it on about six and I'm gonna let that start warming up. And normally it's hot by the time we're ready to start cooking. All right, so you need a fillet knife for this. You can get away with other knives, but a fillet knife helps. This is a super cheap one from Walmart. It does the job great. Um, and so what you're gonna wanna do, I'm not gonna show it because I think YouTube has weird, uh, like you can't show certain stuff on YouTube, it like blood. So anyways, if you come look over here, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna make a cut right here, right behind kind of this gill plate right here. You're gonna cut down till you fill the, uh, the spine and then you're gonna go and you're gonna turn up and you're going to just follow that spine all the way to the tail and you're gonna flip it over and then you're gonna take that filet off the skin that'll be left over. It's that easy, we're just doing filets today and then we're gonna get them frying. So I'm gonna filet these guys up and get back to y'all. All right, so we're done filleting. Now we've got the filets. Nice and pretty. And now I'm just going to come over here, get some cold water, and we're going to just rinse them off, feel, make sure the, uh, there's no bones in any of them. We took the rib cages out too, I forgot to mention that. But once you rinse it, just throw it in a bucket of ice while we get ready to fry them up. 
All right, now so what you wanna do is just get some paper towels, put them on a plate, and you're gonna to wanna to pat the fillets dry. You don't want them to be wet when you put the uh, Frank's Red Hot on them. It's gonna help it stick to it, and then our breading is gonna to stick to that better. Be chilling. Mm -hmm. What you doing, Finn? I think he's keeping an eye on things. Hmm. Okay, I'm just patting the fillets dry. It's a good technique right there. Uh huh. here just enough that you can get a good coating on your fish all right so got our lemon fish fry I'm just gonna open it up and don't leave a ton because we're only doing half the fish so it's about eight fillets but if we use too much I will that looks good so we can always add more so we got our lemon right there now we're going to open up the spicy fish fry, and we're gonna do something here that, that'll be fun. All right, so we got our spicy and our lemon. You can kind of tell the difference. This one's a little more red. So anyways, we're gonna do Frank Tai on both of them. Um, all right, so now you can get a plate or paper towel, doesn't matter. We're gonna put it over here and it's a little trick I learned. I like it. Um, put your fish in a strainer to get the grease off because if you let them sit on a napkin for a while or a paper towel, they can actually get soggy. So with this, grease strains out and they're dry. So now we're just waiting for the grease to get a little hotter and then we're going to put the fish in. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start dipping the fish into the Frank's Red Hot. So I'm just going to throw like five at a time in there and uh, I'm going to coat it actually I probably should be using a fork all right so just kind of using the fork to help me get a nice coat on that and let's see first half we'll go ahead we'll throw them in the spicy so just kind of like get a little excess off get a little, get a little shake right there a little shake shake and then go into the bag same thing just give them a little <coughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, just give it a little shake, throw it in the bag. All right, so important thing when you do this, zip it up, but leave a good bit of air in there and don't give it one of these. Shake them up nice and good, get a nice coating on there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, uh, I like to just kind of have them all laid out, ready to go. So just get in there. Just lay them out on a paper towel. We use paper towels for everything in this house. So, just make sure they have a nice coating. Lay them there to be ready to use them. Now you're just gonna repeat the process again. We're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna do it with uh, the lemon batter on the next batch, so. So there's all our lemons. All right, so now if you want to see if your grease is hot, which I think ours is way too hot. Oh, yeah. Take a little bit of this and just drop it in there. Oh, yeah, actually, it's great. Look at the sizzling. Mm -hmm. The sizzles like that. The sizzles like you want your fish to sizzle. Mm -hmm. You know it's ready. That's money right there. All right, so the oil's hot. It's ready to go. So we're going to start dropping them in. We're going to start with uh, the spicy mix. Ooh. Perfect. And these are not going to take long at all to cook because they are super thin. Pan fish are pretty small fish and their fillets are also small. You just put as many as you want in there. Just make sure everything has room. And we'll just put all the spicy in so we can keep them separate. All right, so now, honestly, these guys are probably like already cooked. I'm just going to leave them in there. Let them get crispy. 
make sure you have your Asian strainer. This is a life saver. Go pick you up an Asian strainer or something. I don't know. You need something to scoop them out that's metal. Ooh, honestly, they are so tiny and thin. They are probably already done. Take these dark ones out. I have noticed that uh, the spicy mix tends to make like a nice dark coating. They almost look burnt, but promise me, they're promise they're not. <laughs> All right, so normally if you're frying something like catfish or a thicker cut of meat, you're gonna wanna fry it a good bit longer, but these, I mean, you normally, the rule of thumb with fish is when they float, they're done. But these, I mean, you throw them in and they're already floating. They're so tiny, but they're so good because the whole thing's gonna be crispy. All right, so here we go, going in with the lemon. Mm. Oh yeah, these are not near as dark as the uh, spicy ones are. They're both gonna be spicy though. We used Frank's Red Hot on them, so this one's just not super spicy. Alrighty, I believe they are good. And all right, we can clearly tell the difference between them. All right. Gonna give them a little shake. All right, and so I'm gonna let these cool off just a little bit and then we're gonna see how they taste. All right, so they've cooled off. I'm gonna go in for a piece of the spicy batter first. And I kinda wanna like have my top list of fish fry that we have going throughout the videos. So far all that we've done, we haven't put it in a video, but we've had fried catfish, but Miss Carolyn's first time gonna have any type of pan fish, so. See how it is. Mmm. Did y'all hear that crunch? That's so good. It's just, it's, it's really, I've heard somebody say that all fish taste like fish, but it's really texture that's a big difference. I agree with that to an extent. It has a really nice texture. It's really flaky. It's not as, uh, Stringy is not the word, but catfish has kind of like a stringy. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but this is really like light and flaky, somewhere between that and uh, crappie. So, <laughs> Whoops. all right. So that was spicy. Yeah, that was spicy, and then honestly, I didn't think it was super spicy. So now I'll try a lemon. See which one I like better. Spicy. I like spicy better. I think it's because we didn't like marinate them in the buffalo sauce this time. They're not like, they don't have a whole lot of heat from the Frank's Red Hot. But if you let them sit in it for a while, they'll have a lot more flavor from that. The lemon's definitely good. You can taste the lemon. You just, it's like more of a, you taste the fish more. But, I don't know. I really like the spicy, so. You would have to try them. Yeah. Here's a lemon. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah? That's good. Okay, here's a spicy one. Mm-hmm. What do you like better? I like spicy. Yeah, it's better. Okay, what do you think about that compared to catfish? Hmm. I don't know. It just, it tastes, I can see what you mean. Like, there's something about it. It's a little different. Almost tastes like cleaner, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like. It's a lighter meat. Yeah, lighter. Lighter is the good yeah. word. So anyways, it's super easy, super easy to catch them. I'm really sorry that I had problems with the GoPro today. Uh, I was pretty upset that I couldn't get some video on the GoPro, but I tried to just get a little clip here and there of me with a fish after I caught it. 
But um, I'll go out and do this again sometime and have some really good footage with the GoPro, hopefully. But anyways, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like the video, drop a comment below if you want to see me do something different, give me some suggestions, or just say something to me and I'll probably respond. Actually, I always respond. Finally, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out videos two to three a week, constantly, consistently. So if you like the content, subscribe, and you're gonna see a whole lot more of it coming in the future. All right, catch you on the next one. Peace.